there's just something about rotisserieing your food that just is very relaxing. So not only does it enhance the flavor, you know, it cooks itself within its own juices. It kind of marinates itself. It also traps the juices in there, but I can just watch this all day. Several months ago, I purchased this Kanka rotisserie grill because I wanted something that I can put in my backyard and pack it up and take it with me to say like a racetrack or if I want to go camping. So kind of be like multi-purpose and it was working great. And I'll probably create a video on a review about it because there are some things that you should know about it if you're planning on purchasing it. But for right now, I would uh, say it is a pretty good rotisserie. I am pretty happy with it. And this right now is the cheapest price that I've seen it. And this is the actual price that I purchased it and it's coming up on Black Friday. So if you're looking for one, might, now might be the best time to get it. So although it has been working great for the most part, it doesn't work that great with like small food items. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at the pictures, you know, you see some um, ribs here and then you see like uh, entire chickens. Um, but if you need something smaller, they have these accessories, these racks, I guess you can put in there. They're a little pricey. And when you start adding it all up, it the entire set is pretty expensive. So to circumvent this, I got a little creative and I made these mounts. So these mounts will allow me to take the smaller rotisserie contraption from one of my air fryers and mount it within the Concon rotisserie. So after I got the mounts, mounted, <laughs> I went ahead and seasoned the chicken thighs. So I just used some peanut oil some uh, vinegar i'm just kind of eyeballing it and then this pre-mix of garlic onion black pepper and sea salt then let it sit for about 20 minutes while my grill is heating up so again i'm just using the rotisserie contraption from the air fryer and i'm just stacking the chicken up So this is one of the things I kind of want to mention is this rotisserie is actually a little hard to use. And since I'm using some custom made mount, it's even harder to use. So since I'm still testing this out, I haven't made a permanent mount on how I want to be able to place this rotisserie in conjunction with my grill. Um, but you can see I am struggling in a lot of different places here. It's mainly because it's held together just by weight and tension. There's no like um, gears or any type of locking me mechanism. It's just gravity. So again, this rotisserie is not meant to be straight across the coals or fire. It's meant to be like staked in the ground and at an angle because it's going to hold a lot of food on the end of the rotisserie. So I had to angle the pole to try to make this straight. So then everything kind of like wobbles around. And again, it's a little difficult to get this set up. I might end up making some type of locking mechanism so I can use this easier in my backyard. So I got it all set up and it's pretty straight for the most part. Just add a little bit more seasoning where I think uh, it can use it and I'm getting ready to turn it on. And it does have a dial to adjust how fast it rotates, which I really like. It is pretty smooth and it can go very slow. Whoa, that, so that took a little while to get set up, but once it's set up, it's going, it's smooth, and I can just let it run. Now I can finally sit back and relax. If you haven't already done so, now's a good time to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And you can see the juices starting to drip.
Alright, so it's finally done and the good thing about this contraption is I can just slide the whole thing off. Now I'm fairly new at doing rotisseries, but I'm becoming a big fan because here's the benefit of rotisserieing your food. I mean, just look at this. Look at how well this cooked and look at how juicy this is. Hey, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you might as well like and subscribe to the video. I do plan on making a couple more videos with this current rotisserie mod. And I do have a few other modifications I plan on making as well as extending my backyard kitchen. So stay tuned and hope to see you on the next one.